Hello everybody, this is Berry Farm Stables and here is the barn tour that I promised you. My barn is all set out. It's beautiful. You love it, I know. Are you ready? Then let's begin. Right then, so here in the boys paddock we have Caspian the Akaltik Stallion and Brandy the Old Arabian Stallion. I think they've made a new 2016 one so he's now the old retired one. He's still gorgeous and I still love him but they're best friends which is why they're giving each other a groom. And then over here we have Jubilee the Navstrupper Stallion, Scar the Bay Hanoverian Stallion, Knight the Dun, would you call that? Not a clue. And Apollo the um, Chestnut Tennessee Walking Stallion, that's the one. Then here we've got some boys galloping across the field, getting in everybody's way. We've got Merlin the Carmag Stallion, he's really cute, he's in a head collar made by Seller Studios. In the it's nice and dark blue and the red one that Fiero's got on is another one made by her. Um, he's the Trachina stallion. And we also have Harry the Palomino stallion who uh, I knocked off a shelf so he's got a massive scratch on his side. It's very sad. I've, got a, I've turned him so you can't see that. And over here we've got the two Tinker stallions. We've got Pirate who's the brown and white one. Or Skewbald sorry. And uh, Alfie the Pinto one. So yeah, this is the boys paddock. Right then, and now we are here in my main barn. So in this uh, store we have Sandy, she's the western mare that came with the set in a nice green head colour. And here we have Hannah tacking up Zeus, the new uh, Tennessee walking stallion. He's being brought on by her so he's young and she works with him every day and they're really close. Here we have Captain, the 2015 Ardent stallion. He's gorgeous, I love his mould. I'm absolutely in love with it. When I saw him I was like I need him straight away so... As soon as I found him in a store, I bought him. Here we have the Ardennes Foal um, Moth in with the uh, in with Delilah. The uh, the is it? I guess she's now a regular run because they're making her for 2016. But I did actually get her last year, rather than buying her this year. So she came with the set with the tack and everything, or the rug, or the groom. I don't even know. Over here we have Logan. She's a custom on the track and a mare mold by Anne Helian and her foal Dandin. This store's empty apparently. Here we have Dandelion and her foal Burdock, sorry that made me laugh for some strange reason. She's in another she's in another head colour, so that's nice and yellow, and Burdock is her foal. I absolutely love that foal, I love his colour. He's got such a cheeky face. And in here we have Conker, the Appaloosa Stallion. I got him for Christmas 2014, I think. I love him. He's got some rubs on his ears, which he had when I got him, but it's alright. It'll do. I love him. He's so cute. I love him in um, the Western tack. So yeah, this is the main barn. Okay, so we're now out in the like the courtyard area where the ho where the other two barns look into. So here are Magpie. She's um, all tied up in the grooming set. She's the 2015 Pinto mare. She's not actually been groomed at the minute. She's just sort of standing there, looking around like, hey, why have I been abandoned? So also out here we have um, London and King, the Arabian pair. Matthew, the vet, is just looking at them both. There's Max and Julie. Julie's getting her tack, and Max is uh, about to go in and work with the new Mustang mare, Wisdom. Sorry. So there we have Pluto and uh, Lizzie's giving him a groom. And here's a quick overview of the individual barns and I'll actually, uh, that I'm about to go into them and introduce you to each horse individually. So first off we have Destiny, the Shire Mare and you can just see Soldier, her foal in the background. Here we have Zeke, a custom on the Hanoverian Stallion, also by Anne Helian. I don't know if I mentioned that with Logan, but uh, three of my four customs are by her. There's June with a bucket of food. She's standing under Zeke's dog because they get along quite well, they're quite good friends. And here we have Cole, the Frisian stallion. He's looking around. He's always checking everything out. It's Cole. He likes to know what's going on. In here, if we peek around the corner, we've got Bella Donna and her foal Storm is also in there. She's the old Lipazana mare. She's not looking out. She's trying to ignore us, pretending we don't exist. In here we have Pecan, and you can just see Acorn in the background looking super cute. They're the Appaloosa Mare and Foal. I absolutely adore them. I'm a big sucker for the Appaloosas. They're absolutely gorgeous. And here we have Wisdom, the Mustang Mare, looking out at Max like, don't you dare come and do anything with me. I ain't, oh, I ain't all up with that. So now we're out in the Mare Paddock after looking into the barn. So here we have Twilight, the Tennessee Walker Mare and her foal Phoenix. They are getting some carrots from Gemma, which is why all the others are coming galloping over, as you can see. So here we have Pepper and her foal Lemon, the Basque Curly Mare and foal. We've got Moon Dancer and her foal Dana. Uh, Dana's a character in one, one of my favourite books. It sounds like quite a strange name, but I thought it suited him and it's one of my favourite characters, so I decided to call that little chap Dana. That's the Persian Mare and foal. 
Here we have Hazel, the Felmer, and Kestrel, her foal, and we also have Opal, the uh, what is it? Icelandic foal and Penny, the Icelandic mare. I obviously did it the wrong way around then. Opal is the foal and Penny's the mare. Here we have Rowan and her son Barley. She's currently looking after Raven because Snowflake's out being ridden. Snow, uh, Snowflake is the Lipizzaner mare and Raven's the Lipizzaner foal, as you can see. So um, Rowan and Barley are the old Hanoverian mare and foal. Here are the new Hanoverian mare and foal. This is um, Amber and Robin. They're also coming over to get some carrots. Because who doesn't like carrots? Let's be honest. Around the corner, I don't know if you can see them, they're hiding from everyone because Brooke is very antisocial. We have Lily and her son Juniper, that's the Fjord Mare and Foal, and Brooke and her daughter Dawn, the Carmag Mare and Foal. And last but not least, uh, field wise, we have uh, Guinevere. She's a custom on the Old Shy Mare Mold by Chestnut Ridge, and Breeze, who is a custom on the Clydesdale Mold by Anne Helian. She's got a nice white little belly, she's a dark bay, absolutely gorgeous. And over here we have Eve the, um, is it Ander I want to say Andalusian, and she's the chestnut one that came with the Christmas calendar. And we have Tyria the new Frisian mare, and Pancake the horse who came with the recreational riding set. She's another one of my favourites, she's got a little purple head collar to match her purple boots, I think she's an absolute darling. And just out of the paddock here, we have Magic, the white Frisian stallion, who is the um, the special run, who's been ridden by Sophia. We've got Eclipse, who's the special run Tennessee walking mare, who has been ridden by Rebecca. And Maisie on her new pony, who's the special run Carmack, who doesn't have a name yet. But I'm trying to think of something Merlin related, because the other one's called Merlin, and I'd like him to have... I was thinking Arthur, but I don't know if he looks like an Arthur. What do you think? Should I just go with Arthur? And I've just remembered that over here we have Cheryl riding, well I say riding, she's actually about to fall off under. He came to this tiny little wall and decided he needed to uber jump it and she wasn't ready basically. As you can see Thunder likes to jump things big. If he's going to jump then he's going to jump as massive as he can. And watching the disaster that's unfolding we have Georgia on Snowflake, my new jumping rider who doesn't yet have a name on Vixen. And back there we've got Bryony on a mirror. Bryony doesn't really like riding a mirror, but her own horse is out in the paddock at the minute, so she just tacked up a mirror and brought her out because the mirror can jump about this height without any bother. So yeah, that's my barn tour. Thank you for watching. Bye!